Hello, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How you all doing? Okay, so uh, it's been a long time. I know I talk with you guys. It's been a long time I made videos, and it's been a long time I uploaded videos on this channel. So uh, to make it up with you guys, I decided to come up with a, a sighting tutorial. So it's something that is very rare in the Flutter community, and it's something that most of us are not aware of, okay? So today, uh, this video is going to be a playlist, okay? So I just want to keep stuff short and also keep it structured for everyone to understand. So this course is going to be about GraphQL. So in case you don't know what GraphQL is, it's more like it works like REST API, but it helps us to, you know, make query to, uh, it's more like a query language for our APIs, okay? So with GraphQL, we can actually uh describe the type of data we want we get we whatever we ask for that's what we get so it reduces this form of underfetching or overfetching that you know we experience using rest api so it's just like if you need title and name in the if you define title and name in the query that's the only thing is going to return it's not going to return anything more than that unlike rest api that returns like say you just want to re get a date title, return the title, the date, every, 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 everything. And sometimes when fetching in our platform, like our app, it kind of slows down the whole stuff. Okay, but GraphQL just, you have to describe the data as you want. Ask, and whatever you ask for, that's what you get. So it's more like uh, reduces this underfetching and overfetching stuff okay so i won't really talk much on graphql we can always look up the site graphql.org to get more info about it so today this uh course this uh this playlist is going to be using utilizing graphql and also provider package we're going to be using provider package to work with this and the app we are going to be building is a simple to do application so i think that's actually the best way to demonstrate how to use graphql together with provider in your flutter application yeah i guess that's awesome right so what we'll be doing uh this is just an introduction so in the next section i'll just uh, uh get some few things ready and which i'm going to show you guys as well so this whole code this course everything is going to be uh, uploaded to github and it's going to be open source for every each and every one of us to get the source code okay so we are going to be building a simple to um, to do app sorry yeah a to do app and but because this api is not complete we are only going to be i'm going to show you how to fetch from a graphql uh, endpoint how to delete and how to add data so the gra the endpoint does not have uh a method to update update the to do but it's still the same it's still similar method as when you want to delete or you want to add it's just that you pass the id yeah it's still similar method okay so without much ado i'm going to stop here for this video and then in the next section i'm going to give you some uh brief uh yeah just some few things on folder structuring and how to get started with our projects